Russia vs. Ukraine Current Situation Summary, Monday 28 March Russia is still attacking Ukraine after more than a month invading this country. A series of negotiations were carried out, but did not reap significant results. Most recently, the two countries will resume negotiations in Turkey on March 28-30, 2022. At the meeting, peace and restoration of normal life are said to be new topics of discussion. The following is the situation in Ukraine summarized by CNNIndonesia.com, Monday, 28 thirds. 1. Russia attacks fuel facilities. Russian soldiers attack fuel storage facilities BBM, and military infrastructure in the western region of Ukraine, Lviv on Saturday, 26 thirds, evening local time. As a result of this incident, five people at the BBM facility were injured. The head of the Lviv Regional Military, Maxim Kozitsky, said the two locations that were hit by the Ukrainian attack were in residential areas. He said that so far there have been no deaths, but five people who were in the vicinity of the BBM facilities were injured. 2. Russia allegedly launches four missiles at Lviv. Russia suspected of launching four missiles in the western region of Ukraine, the city of Volyn on Saturday, 26 thirds, evening local time. Explosions were heard in a class by the residents. The head of the Volyn Regional Military Administration, Yuri Pohuliako, said the explosion was heard around 9 p.m. local time. The missile launch, he continued, came from the territory of Belarus. Three of the four rockets fell after being fired into the sky of Volyn, Po Huliako said as quoted by CNN, Sunday, 27 thirds. 3. Zelensky said he only asked for 1% of NATO's defense equipment. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, said he was only asking for 1% of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization's NATO tanks and planes. The request, he conveyed, was time for the international community to increase military assistance to the country. In a video released Saturday, 26 thirds, Zelensky, said the need to strengthen common security in Europe. The statement came shortly after Zelensky spoke with Polish President Andrzej Duda. Zelensky said he regretted that so far Ukraine had waited 31 days to receive significant military assistance. 4. 3.8 million displaced, 1,119 killed due to invasion. The United Nations UN, reports that at least 3.8 million people have fled Ukraine since the invasion. This institution also recorded that 1,119 people died and 1,790 people were injured. 5. Biden warns Putin not to move into NATO territory. The President of the United States, Joe Biden, warned the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, never to move into the territory of a member of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, for just one inch. Don't even think about moving an inch into NATO territory, Biden said during a speech in Warsaw, Poland, Friday, 26 thirds, quoted by CNN. The United States, he continued, has committed to the collective protection obligations contained in the NATO Charter, with the full force of the collective power at their disposal.